scared the cat. It's been a while. So we had some further on-screen reviews planned back in April. Those didn't happen for reasons. <laughs> for the foreseeable future, we got a couple. And first, Yay. first of all, first of all, we got double feature the backwards. Ooh. We got Rego, King of the Sea Monsters, and Raiga, God. God of the Monsters. Yeah, God. I get them. I get them so mixed up, though. How could you mix them up? I don't know. They don't look exactly the same. No, no I no, actually I'm, really love these. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So this one's first. These are yes. These are two. This is the sequel. The like so, sort spiritual of, sequel. Sort of. Yeah, the spiritual successor. Yeah. yeah. So these are two fairly new releases from SRS, who seem to be aficionados of B movies and Z movies and kaiju movies and all that kind of good stuff. So what we have here are two independent kaiju films, one from 2005 and one from 2009, both of which are directed by Shinpei Hayashiya, who is the, the mastermind behind both of these projects. Oh, I'm so glad that person exists. Yes. These were a trip. Let's put it that way. So, like, I think I expected one thing. Okay. And it was not at all what I expected. The first one wasn't. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It was not at all what I expected. But then I ended up still really liking it. That's a good way. Honestly, I feel that way about both of them. Neither of them were what I expected. And I ended up enjoying both of them. Well, I guess. So, like, the second one was more what I expected the first one to be. But, but after, because I had watched the first one, right. I thought it was going to be different. So then when it was back to what I thought, right. I was like, oh, this is a good surprise. Right. That's that's exactly how I felt. I feel as like well. you have to watch both. I think so. Even though their connection is only tangential. Which, by the way, we should we should talk about what they actually are. Okay, yeah. So, Arego, the first film. There you go. I'll do it. Okay. Arego, the first film, takes place during World War II on the world-famous battleship uh, Yamato, and it has sort of quiet phone. It has sort of an alternate telling of the events of how the battleship Yamato uh, existed during World War II and how it eventually sank towards the end of World War II, which mm -hmm. we won't spoil anything about that, but it's kind of, it's kind of insane. Yeah. And being that it is an indie film from 2005, the effects are magical. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I think they're like S quality. Yes. Yeah. S tier, yeah. S rank. Oh yeah. Do you have any particular thoughts about Rego? Uh, the only thing that I feel like I need to say about Rego is that it has Metal Gear Ray. Yes, <laughs> that is <laughs> true. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that is true. So go watch Rego <laughs> if you want to see Metal Gear Ray during World War II, essentially. <laughs> Perfect. And some, like I said, honestly magical. Next. And I got God. We've upgraded from the king of the sea monsters to the god of god. All, all monsters. God of, of the monsters. Of all of the monsters. Zenbu Kaiju. Zenbu Kaiju. And I got, on the other hand, released four years later, is set in modern times. So it's about 2009, 2010 mm -hmm. that it's set. It has virtually nothing to do with World War II or the battleship Yamato. Mm -hmm. It's about a man who is a widower. His three teenage daughters want him to be faithful to their late mother, but he kind of wants to be a philanderer. It's this whole, there's a lot of family drama. It's a thing. And there's another plot at the same time where the Minister of Defense is in the Situation Room, which literally just looks like, you know... Oh my god! You know how you can rent a room in a library, like a study room, for like an hour at a time? The Situation Room for the Minister of Defense looks like that. Um, <laughs> there were like five chairs in it. Yes. They weren't all the same. And... No, no. And then you have the military commander who comes in and is trying to oh. help sort out situations. So you're, you're swapping between... This family drama, this quirky family drama, and this absolutely insane military situation room that's in a library, probably. It's it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. It's so good. If you need a B-movie to, like, watch because you want something that's super vapid but still, like, fun. Yes. This, this is your movie. 
You do not have to watch the first one in order to understand this one. It helps give context for certain elements, which we will not spoil. This one, this one, like, I felt like every 15 minutes, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, like, they, yes. like, they, like, amped it up yeah. more and more and more. The first film. Yeah. And also, this one has awesome t-shirts. This is true. I this want one true. of these t-shirts. I, I wish that those t-shirts. If these t-shirts existed, I would wear it. Yes. Because SRS sells, in addition to also selling these films on VHS, uh, they also sell t-shirts for both of them. But unfortunately, they are not the t-shirts that are present in, in the, the movie film. itself. Yeah. Which is really unfortunate. If they sold that t-shirt, oh my god. Mm -hmm. they, they just take all my money. Mm -hmm. Also, on this particular DVD, you get like an hour-long behind-the-scenes mm -hmm. uh, documentary. It's all about... The prosthetic yeah. itself, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, it's not It's not like day one of shooting through the final day of shooting or anything. It's all about the kaiju prosthetics and this other monster that is present that I don't want to spoil, the prosthetic for that monster as well. And it goes through and shows you how they're created. Unfortunately, it's not subtitled, so it's completely in Japanese. But it was still really, really interesting to kind of see, like... It's a good learning experience. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> But I gotta say, having having that as well, it really shows, if it wasn't already apparent, how much heart went into making both of these movies. Um, they are... Passion projects. They are magical. <laughs> and definitely, yeah, if you're a fan of kaiju, if you're a fan of B-movies... Of B-movies, yeah. Um, if you're a fan of early 2000s sci-fi channel original movies, those special oh, effects... Yes. Yes, this is right up your alley. This is something you might not have heard of before that is a thing that exists. And you should put your eyeballs on top of it. Yes. <laughs> so everybody go check out Rego and Raiga and let us know in the comments below what you think of these two magical kaiju extravaganzas. Now do we show everyone our kaiju? Oh, yeah, that one. We also have a furry kaiju. Not a kaiju that's a furry, but a kaiju with fur. There he is. There he is. I love you.